Hey friends, welcome to the part 21 of this playlist. All real certification questions is what we are more concerned about. If you did not get an opportunity to subscribe yet, dude, what are you waiting for? Stay tuned to the latest question sets informations around certifications. With certifications, buddy, cloud certifications, cloud AWS, Azure, GCP, Snowflake. Some parts are free, some parts are not free. Click the join button. Become a cloud kernel, cloud ninja member, cloud kernel, cloud ninja member to gain access to many more such questions. Let us jump into this question. You have a website like Flipkart and people are trying to change the prices. For example, best of shavers, 1649 rupees. Somebody within the organization decides, hey, let us downgrade it to 1200 rupees. Somebody says, hey, let us downgrade to, to 1800 or upgrade to 1800 rupees. Where is this data stored? It is stored in DynamoDB. What is DynamoDB? No SQL database. Buddy, you cannot fire SQL queries on DynamoDB. It is a no SQL database. It is a high performance database, single digit performance. So applications like Uber, Lyft, they make use of this database or similar databases. Now, what is the problem? Boss? The problem is that you have one database and you have Buddy A body b and body c all three are updating at their will there is no control no governance we want to introduce a review procedure which feature of dynamodb we should use to avoid this overwriting concurrent rights will not solve it the problem with concurrent rights is that the concurrency is already happening with rights a b and c a b and c they are already writing concurrent concrete means at the same time at the same time when your wife scolds you, she scolds you for four or five things at the same time. Now, conditional rights. This is correct because conditional rights based on a certain set of condition, the updates will apply. By default, it is unconditional. The rights are unconditional. It will simply go and overwrite whatever is there. So, conditional rights are like they, it will succeed only if you meet one or more expected condition. This will help you with creating a review procedure so that the overwriting is avoided uh, atomic rights this is wrong why with atomic rights the rights are indempotent not important guys it is a different terminology please don't laugh let me explain you what it means if a does an update then b does an update then c does an update the final update will be in that sequence and the last value that c updated it will have that value so, so that is the purpose uh, of atomic rights. So this will not help us create a review procedure and avoid overwriting. Whatever A wrote, it got overwritten by B. Whatever B wrote, it got overwritten by C. And let us look at batch rights. So batch write item will only write the data in batches. So multiple updates, multiple row updates. So the purpose is very different. If you want to update so many products in one go, then you use batch write. So conditional right would be my final answer. Now let us look at uh, question number 78. So this question is a cloud formation question. See what is cloud formation? Simple. Suppose you want to create three EC2 instances. How will you create it? Manually, right? You will launch the instance or you will use some CLI commands to do that. No boss. In real world, once you have decided that I have to create this infrastructure, best practice for this, you use cloud formation. You tell cloud formation, boss, create three EC2 instances for me. It will create a script. Next time when you want to run, or like create these EC2 instances, either in development environment or in test environment, you just run this script. So this is infrastructure as a code. This infrastructure as a code, you just run the script and EC2 instances will be created boss. Okay. We want to make you lazy and you guys are not understanding and you want to work hard. <laughs> you AWS wants to make sure that everything is so efficiently managed that you should become lazy. So that is what they are telling. So now what they are saying is boss, I am creating a cloud formation template to launch Lambda function. What is Lambda? See, for compute, you have two options. Either you create EC2 instance and put your Python code, Scala code, Spark code there, or you can use Lambda. Lambda is very cheap, like five pesa 
you know that dialogue two pesa two pesa people or two rupees people this guy is a two rupees people lambda is a two rupees people that means it is very cheap why it is cheap because it is serverless you don't have to worry about creating an ec2 instance where to install lambda no boss aws again is going to make your life easy they want you to become lazy so that slowly you, you get to the habit of of laziness and then they can kick you out of the job that is what the industry is aiming at or if you are still hard working then you can create your own assets and those things new products innovation inventions now for to deploy lambda function which processes are responsible the first one is saying you boss let us upload the code to code commit repository see the answer the way i would structure is i would put the code somewhere right i would put the code somewhere like zip file no containing the function code somewhere so this is the zip file i'll put it somewhere then i will include that reference in the this guy cloud formation template i will put that link here so that the infrastructure as a code can work and it can refer the code which i have saved somewhere somewhere means what where should i save so i have multiple options a is saying guys put it in code commit c is saying what put boss put it on s3 d is saying was put it on cloud formation itself guys so much of confusion man what to do now so cloud formation is for infrastructure as a code you cannot put a lambda upload you cannot upload zip files there was cloud formation is not meant for that cloud formation is not a storage you can upload certain things if it is meant for storing certain things cloud formation is not a storage code commit is a version control service code commit is a version control service boss did anybody talk about version control nobody is talking about it first thing second is why will you put it into a version control service the question is not that version is wrong etc so this is wrong now what is one more option e it is saying guys let's put it in a git repository see github you know in the uh, today's world all open source concepts open source code is kept here only you have that option but why will we keep this on git why when we have our own internal storage did we explore that so why you want to add a new feature you don't have to do that you have s3 you know you have s3 where you can store it git is a rocket why do you want to take out a rocket again and again when you can go to the market using your car don't take the rocket out so use s3 s3 is dirt cheap s3 is also a two rupees people see we had five options we wanted to choose two answer we are able to say three answer three options are wrong and we got our one answer here we are left with only one more option this is has to be our answer so what it does is it like i told you you store your code here you create a link to the cloud formation template that is what b is saying telling you create lambda function resource in the template because the template has to create the lambda function right you will have to create that resource then write the code directly inside cloud formation template together mixed with you upload a zip file here the function code to s3 and add a reference of it in the function resource either ways it will work either ways you can do it either ways okay so you have two options and both are correct so these two would be my final answers one way or the other it will work see you have x ray i am looking at the next question you have x ray not your body x ray this is different why aws has x ray service why do you have it because this will help analyze and debug production and distributed applications okay x ray what it does suppose you have a fracture slight fracture you take a x ray of your hand and it can show you around the bone there is a fracture aws will do same with x ray so it will help you monitor end to end performance of a user request across whole software stack 
and the developer he or she has modified the program and they are sending traces to x-ray so yeah, the program should send traces to x-ray then only x-ray will say okay okay now you are doing this the problem is that traces is not accessible when program is deployed on ec2 instance now what can be uh, the most likely reason for this why if you go on ec2 the same program works and sends traces to x-ray elsewhere the moment you put this program on ec2 it does not uh, send traces or the traces are not accessible that is why it is happening why first is saying that traces are reaching x-ray but developer doesn't have access to view the records so how did we infer that the question does not say that there is an error which says guys you don't have access or something of that sort so that may not be totally true so let us look for if we get a better answer we want to choose two answers now b is telling us x-ray daemon is not installed ec2 instance yes this can be the problem see see you have ec2 instance and then you have x-ray this is your x-ray okay now this on this ec2 you need an agent okay a daemon or something which is constantly running and then it will be able to send to this guy the traces so b is saying that probably daemon is not there now you might ask what is daemon so just quickly it is a software application that listens for tra traffic on port 2000 okay and it relates to x-ray api so this daemon should be installed on ec2 so on this ec2 the daemon should be installed now, other thing they are saying is that c is telling you that x-ray endpoint that is specified in the application is incorrect so you have this x-ray right and it has an endpoint like that in your code you have to make use of this endpoint okay they are saying that uh, your application configuration is incorrect maybe then it will give you a big error big error if if that is the case okay you, you will not say hey i don't know it is not accessible it will not be that way it will just give you a big error this is wrong now if you see d and e see i showed you this diagram now for ec2 to, to put something here they will need permissions right they will need role permissions so d is saying maybe this guy ec2 does not have get traces and get trace graph permissions boss ec2 has to put something it does not has to get anything ec2 will put the traces in x-ray so this is wrong it is not getting it is putting so the, our next answer would be this because maybe the role you don't have put trace segments or put telemetry records permissions so that ec2 can put put data here for the traces that can be an issue so these two would be my final answers so if you have not yet subscribed uh, uh, let us wait for a few more months to subscribe uh, because you have indefinite time to look at your career by the way you can click the join button become a member cloud kernel cloud ninja any of these two you will gain access to many more questions information and other stuff see we are looking at real certification questions you can get same questions in the exam you can get similar questions in the exam focus on the concepts focus on the concepts best way of learning is click the playlist sit put your headphones in your ears and let the playlist play one part of the other keep listening that is the best way to automatically get this knowledge induced in your brain in your blood if the knowledge gets into your brain you can still forget if this knowledge gets into your blood you will not forget in your life
see you in the next part stay tuned for many more interesting information questions explanations so if you want to clear certifications study walking from kanyakumari to kashmir will not help you solve the problem in hand see you in the next part